<laughs> I'm a survivor, but I'm also helping to maybe find the cure for my own cancer. <laughs> maybe the research that happens at Fred Hutch will someday be my cure for cancer. And I, I just feel compelled to keep writing. Obliteride, it's hard to believe that year after year they've improved. Year one, not knowing that there was gonna be a second year, you would have thought, well shoot, they knocked it out of the park. But then here comes year two, and year three, four, and five. Every year, there's nothing that's needed from us other than to collect money and ride. I'm not the fastest rider, so initially being in a pack of orange is great. <laughs> But it's not like I've remained in that pack of orange, <laughs> you know? But that's what I just tell people, is you don't have to be a bike rider. The whole weekend around Obliteride makes the whole event. You know, getting to hang out at Gasworks Park and have great food and beer and riding and great weather. It really gives you a great reason to raise money for cancer research. When you hear your goal is $1,000, I think a lot of people feel like, I need to get a $500 donor. You really don't, you know? Those $5, $10, $20, they all add up. Dollars pays for research, research pays for drugs to get into trials, and trials develop and deliver the drugs to people like me. If you break that linkage, you don't get survivors. And as a patient, all you want to do is survive. But I got better enough to ride a bike, I thought, aha, this is going to be an indication that I'm back. Are we going to be able to cure all cancers? I think the answer to that is yes. I mean, we already have cured a lot of cancers. I mean, it's, it's a miracle. There are walking miracles <laughs> out there. Let's do this. A bike ride can't cure cancer, right? But people can. And I think what people have to realize is that the focus and the goal on ending cancer is, is a really powerful bond. And I think it's an underlying message of what we can do as people when we want to work together. <laughs>